What's going on guys, J. Coon Prime here, and I am just back from Evo, still sifting through a bunch of footage, but I told you I had more videos with live footage of early access stuff from Evo, and I am not going to disappoint, and this video is all about Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. So the people at the Bandai Namco booth were kind enough to let us come in, check it out, get some footage of the game, which you're seeing on the screen right now, and I have to say, the presentation of Sparking Zero is absolutely fantastic. I will never have a single bad thing to say about how this game looks visually. Now, unfortunately, how it looks, while that is absolutely fantastic, how it plays is unfortunately not great. Um, not great in the sense of like it plays like crap, uh, it's mainly a situation where this game feels like, control-wise, it should be a different kind of game. And with this uh, being said, keep in mind I've played all the Budokai Tenkaichi series. I, I've played every single one of them. I even played the, uh, what I guess you could call it, kind of like the sequels to them. I think it was like Full Burst or something like that. Burst Limit, that's it. Burst Limit. And they all have a very similar style, but this one, for some reason, the controls just feel very, very awkward. Uh, you have your standard fare of like attack, uh, standard attacks, heavy attacks, key charge, your dash, your block. But how this is put together, like honestly, it, it almost feels like I'm piloting a Gundam. And it's really, really awkward. Especially when you're trying to get acclimated to everything around you. There doesn't seem to be much of a feature. Like, you can kind of lock on to the enemy, but it's very, very easy to lose track of them in a very, very short amount of time. And as you can see on the screen right here, like, I am definitely doing my best to try and close the gap. Uh, the computer, I don't know what it was set to, but the computer was insanely aggressive. While I did ultimately wind up winning the fight, uh, it took like two or three characters to actually make it happen until like I stopped just trying to figure things out and I just tried to focus on just hitting the enemy. And uh, yeah, uh, personally, I really have to say that this game, unfortunately, is just not going to be for me. I, I will not be picking this up. It just, it felt very weird to have something like Dragon Ball Xenoverse or even Dragon Ball Fighters, where the, the controls were pretty straightforward. Uh, Dragon Ball Xenoverse was also really straightforward, and it feels like they took a pretty simple formula and just kind of overcomplicated it. Like, it just, it felt very awkward, and the controls just kind of felt like a mess. And that was honestly very disappointing. Now, this game wasn't very high up on my priority list to begin with, and I think that's just mainly because there's a new Dragon Ball game it, it feels like every single year, like Dragon Ball has now hit Call of Duty status where like it just, you don't really have time to miss the franchise nowadays. And I think my fatigue for Dragon Ball has just kind, kind of finally ran out where like, I think I'm just going to skip this one, but let me know what you think down in the comments below. I'm going to let the footage run out so you can see the end of the match because I do want to show as much of this game as humanly possible. While it may not be for me, that is not saying that it may not be for you. This may just not be my cup of tea, and for you it could be an absolutely fantastic experience. And I genuinely hope it is. I don't I don't wanna act like the game is bad because I didn't enjoy it. That I'm just, I'm putting that out there right now. I am not saying that. I am not saying that this game is bad. It's just not gonna be for me. But let me know what you think down in the comments below. If you enjoyed the footage, be sure to leave a like rating on the video. And if you wanna stay up to date with more be sure to hit that subscribe button and tap the bell for notifications. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you later.